what is actual Apache Iceberg? So you'll probably see the sentence up top. So an open standard for creating, updating, and optimizing large analytics tables on object stores. Now, commonly it's on object stores because that's kind of where the large scale analytics is, but it does run on HDFS. It does work on prem uh, if that's the environment that you're using. But it's really intended to make it easy for you to create and update and modify these large data sets on top of some kind of object store that traditionally didn't give you the option to update. In a database, it's easy to, to make changes, but in an object store like S3, you really can't. It doesn't give you the APIs to do it. So we need some kind of mechanism to do it. The key features of Iceberg, open format for managing metadata. Right, That's one of the big aspects that Iceberg brings is that it extracts the metadata from a catalog and it kind of moves that logic into files. Right? So now you do have less dependence on a catalog to maintain schemas and partitions. You can handle that inside of the, the, the table format. So it's much more portable if you want to move it from cloud to on-prem, on-prem to cloud to different cloud uh, providers. Insert, update, and delete. I think it's the obvious one. It's a big one that obviously you're going to be using. Asset transactions, be able to update, insert, and delete data or query data within a transaction. Schema evolution makes it really easy because you're updating the table format itself. You're saying, hey, I want to add a column, remove a column, rename a column, rearrange a column. It's very easy to do because all of it is handled for you within the manifest, which we'll talk about in a minute. Dynamic partitioning. So traditionally with Hive tables, when you partition a table, kind of like group uh, similar rows together, you do it by physically creating folders in your object store or in your HDFS, and you put those relevant files inside those folders. But if your partition changes, if you want to go from, let's say, year partitioning to year month day partitioning, now you got to create new folders, rewrite your files. It's expensive. With Iceberg, all those partitions are actually managed for you through metadata. So you don't have to recreate files or copy data or, or recreate folders and things like that. It makes it a lot easier. Pluggable data store format. By default, we see Apache Parquet as being the file format, but Iceberg does support ORC and also Avro. In the future, I'll support other formats, but it's pluggable. So if you want to choose a different format, you can do that. And then you get a bunch of storage optimization. This is something that traditionally in the data lake was much harder to do. So if you wanted to compact, like merge a bunch of small files into bigger files, in a data lake, there was no, there was no uh, predefined mechanism to do it. You had to write a Spark job or a transformation job that will do it for you. And then you had to deal with conflicts and commit problems and concurrency and stuff like that. And I've written many of those jobs in my past. And it's not fun at all, uh, but with Iceberg, you kind of get this implementation already out of the box, which makes it easier, less things for you to do. All right, so that's kind of what the, the general sense of Apache Iceberg is.